Guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another home gym video. Let me get set up one sec. There we go. Today, what I want to talk to you about was barbells. So, barbells are the, you know, I feel like uh, it's either overlooked or underlooked when, when you're getting a home gym. Like, some people just would look at it and be like, well, I just need a stick that holds the plates, right? That doesn't collapse on me. Um, but you know, a barbell is one of the, it's one of those things that you should consider sinking a little bit of money into to get something that's a uh, higher quality. Number one, they're really not that expensive. I mean, if you go on the cheap, cheap, uh, end, you're still looking at like probably 150 bucks versus if you go like, you know, what I have here, which is, you know, very high quality compared to something you get for under 50 bucks, it's like $400. So I mean you're not really gonna break the bank with the barbell. You can, a little bit unnecessary. So let's start off talking about the different types of barbells. So <coughs> you have your uh, you have your power bar, you have your uh, general bars, and then you have specialty bars. So general bars are gonna be power bars, deadlift bars. Um, that, that's basically what we're looking at in terms of, uh, you know, a deadlift bar is really a specialty bar too, so I mean, um, yeah, we, we basically have power bars and then we have specialty bars. So a power bar is going to be your general, just stiff, standard barbell that's going to work for everything. If you're only planning on getting one barbell, you'd want to get a power bar. So, it, it, you know, when you're looking at barbells, there's a few different things to look at. So, you know, a higher qual quality barbell, it's going to have... Um, it's gonna have better spin, it's gonna have you know better quality bushings on it. Um, the most important thing is probably the feel in the knurling. Uh, so the knurling is, is the grip that's um, you know embedded into the bar. So a, a more quality barbell is gonna have um, you know a little bit um, a little bit sharper or <clears throat> you know just better knurling. So that's definitely helpful, but some of the differences right away with uh, just the general bars are going to be the knurling marks. So you can have center knurling, you can have no center knurling. Um, they're, they're pretty well, I, I think they're all 28 and a half millimeter diameters. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about the, the knurling placement. So this is something that confused me when I was first looking at this. Like, well, you know, what am I, what am I going to use the barbell for? You know, you're most likely going to be using it for squatting, deadlifting, and benching, right? So. Uh, if you get a bar that does not have a center knurl on it, um, that's fine for deadlifting and benching, but it's nice to have that center knurl as a little bit of grip for squats. And it, the, the center knurl doesn't really get in the way uh, on deadlifts. I mean, your shins are going to be, you know, either hitting the knurling or um, the part where there's no knurling. They're not going to be so close together where you're hitting the center knurl. So if you're getting one bar, I think this is pretty well perfect. It's the Rogue Ohio Power Bar with the, you can get different coatings on them too. Um, typically what you want to get is no coating. No coating is stainless steel. Um, it's just raw stainless steel, which is usually the best because um, they're going to <clears throat> corrode less over time. Um, you know, they claim to have no corrosion. Anything that has a coating, like vinyl, you know, it's going to show scuffs and marks and, you know, where you got the chalk into it and stuff. Um, and it will corrode over time if it's in um, a non-temperature controlled area, which is typical for a basement or a garage. Um, yeah, so that's what you want to look for in terms of coating. Uh, you know, in terms of coating as well, it's like, you know, you can get your different colors and stuff, but uh, you can get zinc, uh, oxide. Uh, I think overall, you know, it, it's going to be fine unless it's like you're lifting outside or something and you're really not going to see, um, you know, it's not the end of the world. So <clears throat> what I would recommend would be to get a, a bar with center neural if you're just focused on powerlifting. Um, no center neural is nice for deadlifts. Uh, obviously, if you're going to get a separate bar for deadlifting, you would want to get a deadlift bar. Um, you know, and then we have all sorts of different kinds of specialty bars. Um, you know, your safety squat bar, your multi-grip bars, um, your deadlift bars like we talked about. But, uh, but yeah, so I mean, this is something that you want to spend more money on, a barbell. You know, this is what connects you, the, connects you to the weights, um, connects your body to the weights. Like, you know, you can use junk weight plates on a nice bar, and it's the same thing as using nice plates on a, 
you know, on a, on a, on a cheap bar. So, yeah, it, it's definitely one of the areas that you probably don't want to skimp on. Um, <clears throat> and, yeah, that, that was the biggest thing that I was looking at when I, when I was getting one was the difference in the knurling. Um, you know, you can get really into it where you're looking at the different sort of patterns of the knurling, like uh, Volcano or um, the other different types. Um, you, you know, that the, they really just come down to personal preference. It's just kind of one of those things. Um, it's just whatever feels better. Um, personally, I, I like a bit of a, a sharper neural. I, I just f feel like it helps, um, you know, feel like it helps center the bar more and you just feel like you're, you have a better grip on it and, and everything like that. But, uh, but yeah, so that's pretty well all I got. I mean, yeah, it, it, I would recommend that, uh, you know, some of the, some of the good bars that I would recommend, you mostly anything that you get, um, <clears throat> it's going to be pretty, pretty close to the, uh, the Ohio power bar. This is kind of the standard for, for barbells. Um, but you know, any of the other companies like Bells of Steel, Strong, Strong Arm Sport, Rep, any of these, any like reputable, comp reputable companies, they're going to have decent standard barbells. Um, you can really get into the weeds with it and you know, the, the buddy cap bars are really good. The illegal ones are, are obviously good, but they're crazy expensive. Um, so yeah, you can go all different kinds of ways, but, uh. This is what I would recommend, so I hope that helps you guys out a little bit. Um, and yeah, let me know if there's any questions or concerns, or if you guys had any thoughts about uh, what your favorite bar is, let me know down below in the comments. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's going to wrap it up for the video today. Uh, if you have, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, if you like the video, make sure to subscribe, because we're going to be posting home gym stuff all the time. So, we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Bye.